Hey, why should we be doing customer success? And I think that's that's one of the fundamental questions that, that we still get asked. Uh, why we need success technology, all that stuff, you know, comes eventually. But why should we doing customer why should we be doing customer success at the first place? See, we all live in a subscription economy today. Um, we are no more in the ownership economy. That basically means that you don't have customers who are purchasing your stuff, but you rather have subscribers who are renting or subscribing your, your product or service, which by the nature becomes service even if it's a product, uh, the way we are uh, giving it away. Now, given that you have subscribers that basically by the definition of subscription business, what that means is that as a vendor, as a supplier, as a as a provider of that service, customers are not paying upfront. Unlike the ownership economy where you purchase something and you make the money as a vendor on day one, and hence acquisition was the ultimate goal, but not anymore. In the subscription economy, when you acquire a customer, you actually don't make any money. In fact, you only make potentially between five to maybe 15, 20% of potential lifetime value of a customer. That means up to 80%, 80, 90% of your potential lifetime value of the customer is still locked in the retention cycle, not in the acquisition cycle, but rather the retention cycle. That means you will only make money as a business if you are able to keep that customer. And hence, it becomes extremely important for us to not drop the ball post sales, post acquisition. In fact, that is when the real battle begins. That is when you have to ensure that yes, you are able to prove the value of your product that you're delivering and hence take it to the next step by making sure that you're delivering success, by making sure that the customer is able to achieve their desired outcome, they're able to fulfill the original need of why they purchased the product at the first place. And unless you are able to demonstrate that and the customer is not getting value just once but on an ongoing basis, he or she or the customer, the account, the business is unlikely to stay as a, as a subscriber, although we continue to use the word subscriber and customer interchangeably, but in subscription economy, customer is a subscriber and if a subscriber decides to not use your service anymore, Obviously, the customer is going to churn out. You're not going to get your subscription fee on an ongoing basis and hence may or may not uh, be a profitable business for you. Usually, it takes a few years, a year or more even to um, even get from a customer acquisition, even recover your customer acquisition cost. If you are operating out of a, uh, on a smaller budget and you're cost of acquiring a customer is lower, maybe you can acquire, uh, maybe you can recover that cost in a few months, but um, the potential lifetime value is still lost. So just to even come into the profitable zone, as a business, we want to uh, we want to keep the customer for a certain length of time, depending on what your uh, CAC is. Now, having said that, uh, while we speak so much about CAC in the entire um, SaaS industry, but nobody talks about CRC. While CAC talks about cost of acquiring a customer, CRC is cost of retaining a customer. Are you even measuring cost of retaining a customer? I'm okay, you're not the only one, so, so, so that's fine. But I think as an industry, we need to understand that cost of acquiring is important, will continue to be important, but CRC is going to be even more important. What is the cost of keeping your customer? What is the cost of delivering not just the product, but the value, which is which is likely going to be beyond your server, typical server maintenance costs. Start measuring CRC if you have not done so already. And uh, I think uh, that will tell you and that will very clearly demonstrate why customer success is important. So. You know, if you're, if you're liking uh, some of these conversations, that snippets of conversations that we really have, I think what you're going to really love is our longer webinars. So we do a ton of webinars on customer success topics, and there we typically invite even industry expert or do a major deep dive on a particular topic. Um, the 
immediately next webinar that we're doing is linked below um, and or wherever you're supposed to find the text around this video. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. And um, usually these are very interesting customer success topics. And if this is something that you would like to deep dive into rather than just um, getting whatever value you get from the couple of minutes video, do go ahead and sign up and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the webinar. Take care.